Hey, this is Courtney and Ryan here with your week's Money Minutes. And this week we want to talk to you guys about commodities. We get lots of questions about commodities and why are they important? Is that something that you need to have in your portfolio? Um, so we actually have an expert today here. This is Maxwell Gold, and he is the Director of Investment Strategies at ETF Securities. Um, so just to start off, do you want to maybe explain what is a commodity? Like why is that something people should be thinking about? Yeah, happy to do so. So I think when you think about commodities, at the very basic, you think about natural resources, anything that's used up or consumed as part of a production of something else, whether it be for oil, it, which is used for your cars and vehicles, or grains, which are consumed at your breakfast, or even more so industrial metals like copper, which are used for production of other goods and services. Right. So basically physical assets, um, if we had to uh, break it down to layman's terms. So my question is, commodities have not done well the last couple of years. If you've been an investor in commodities, you know the stock market's gone through the roof. Why would anyone want to own commodities right now, Max, given the poor performance? Yeah, I get a lot of feedback like that, and I think it's important to focus on what is the role of commodities in your portfolio. Certainly, they've been had a, tr a lot of uh, trouble in terms of returns and performance in recent years, but I think that's been a reflection of where we've d been dealing with a lot of overproduction, oversupply in terms of production of commodities. We're beginning yeah. to see that you know become much more imbalanced, where demand remains strong and supply is beginning to be cut back, and it, certainly we see that being uh, a key driver for the case for commodities. Even yeah. more so beyond that, I think what's important is that commodities provide a low correlated asset to risk assets such as equities or even fixed income right. and that could produce diversification benefits if you're looking for a way to achieve uh, better risk return profiles sure yeah yeah so and i hear that argument a lot where people are saying well if the stock markets aren't doing well people want to own those things like gold and silver so they tend to do well when the markets aren't um, and actually we were talking about this earlier but it's also a big inflation hedge right which inflation's been really low for a long time here. And if that goes up, is that going to be a reason why you want to own commodities also? That's going to be a very strong reason why you want to hold commodities. Inflation's been very low for several years, and we're beginning to see it tick up. And if we do expect inflation to mean revert, we can see inflation continue to rise. And commodity prices tend to move in sync with rising prices of inflation. If you look at you know, most you know, in, uh, components, commodities are a key input for a lot of pr uh, products and services. So we do see that as a key driver to keep up with inflation. Yeah, yeah that's a good point. It's uh, as a diversifier, and reality is we've been low inflation for so long, and now we're starting to see inflation come back into the economy. So you have to start having things in your portfolio that can address that. Um, well, Max, thank you for being on the show. Max Gold. Any coincidence that you work in the commodity market with a last name like Gold? Uh, just a bit serendipitous, a <laughs> little bit of fate. So. That's great information. Diversification is key. Having commodities in your portfolio is a core component. That's this week's Money Minutes. As always, be bullish.